Hello and welcome to the ULB Justice Center website. We hope the resources and information that we've prepared for you are useful. Uh, if they are not, then please provide us your feedback. But here's a little information on our approach to advocating change. Here at the ULB Justice Center, we are a community-based, research-oriented justice program. We have the mission of advocating change. The approach that we take to advocating change is what we could call the five E's. And in the five E process, we include empowerment, education, evaluation, expectation, and efficacy. The empowerment phase consists of making sure that our clients believe in themselves and their ability to accept that the law is complicated, but with time and patience, they will be able to get it and see themselves through their legal needs. Additionally, we see and hope that you have the ability to know your resources as well as understand the process and learn the law. And in doing so, we hope that you'll find the empowerment to take you to the next phase of engaging in education. And engaging in education is what we consider the fundamental part of the litigation process. In educating yourself, you will learn to the law, you'll learn the facts, how to gather them and which ones are important, you'll learn the process and how to represent yourself. Moreover, after completing the education phase, then you should be able to evaluate your case. And that takes us to the next stage, which is evaluation. An evaluation consists of learning how to collect the facts, conducting legal research, performing legal analysis, which is different from legal research, evaluating your case, and getting the work done in order to move your case forward. And in doing so, you should be able to learn and establish very clear expectations of what the outcomes of your case should be and what your goals are some potential outcomes and understanding the risks and potentials of those outcomes, as well as be able to make informed decisions regarding your case and you stay prepared throughout the process so that you never get left behind. And in forming all of these expectations, forming reasonable goals, we expect that at this point, you should have grown efficacy. And efficacy is a very important thing because uh, it deals with your ability to know that you can accomplish a particular task. And in a republic such as the United States that promises to be citizen-centered, you have to understand that you have power within this republic. But even more importantly, you also have rights that, are, that stem from your humanity. Just because you're human, you're entitled to particular rights such as the Fifth Amendment. This is why even undocumented persons are entitled to a hearing because these are fundamental rights that go to the, your humanity. But at the end of the day, efficacy deals with your ability to access your rights. It makes no difference if you have these rights if you don't know how to access them. That's where we come to our site. And we understand there's a lot of information. We hope that this information is useful and a good resource for you. In navigating our website, you can see that there are quite a few pages. I'm going to give you a brief summary. Under the Community Law Project, we have uh, our Legal Empowerment and Advocacy Program, which is, what is our equivalent of legal clinics. This provides empowerment and face-to-face -face legal information. We provide basically legal information to you that is not legal advice, but it's just legal information. We also have a document preparation service where you can fill out forms and we can help you do those forms to get your case going and to move your case along. You can have access to basic legal documents so that you always present yourself as professional throughout your legal case. And then finally, if you're helping yourself or you're helping others through a complicated legal matter, then you can go through our community law training program, which makes sure you understand the fundamentals and the basics of a case, a civil litigation case from start to finish, okay? This is also helpful in family law and other areas of law that use the civil code. Under our programs page, you'll find a calendar 
as well as available resources that can be used uh, for free of charge to the community. And finally, we hope that you contact us if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And again, uh, we want and need your feedback. Again, we hope the resources and information that we've made available to you are helpful. Uh, we look forward to working with you through your journey in the law.